It is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to Amelia Diaz. Hi everyone. Um, first, I want to thank everyone for the visual descriptions. I guarantee I'm not the only blind person who is appreciating them because I coerced my entire family to watch. So. <laughs> That said, I am terrible at visual descriptions because the thing I need to make things accessible, I suck at. So, <laughs> I'm a 5'5", five five, um, lesbian, Latina, um, and I'm wearing, okay, I think it's black and white dress with beads on it. <laughs> I know this because I asked my mom. Okay, <laughs> and I'll be reading an excerpt from my um, first novel um, that is far from being published. Um, it's about, the, the only thing you need to know is the protagonist is a blind princess, because of course she is, and she has just gone swimming in a lake, and she is sitting down to have a picnic, and of course she falls into that blind bias where if she can't see you, you can't see her, so she doesn't think that anyone's around. <laughs> Wishing I'd brought a blanket, I spread my tunic out on the grass instead and sit cross-legged atop it to enjoy my breakfast. Just as I'm savoring the first gratifying bite, it's still delicious cold. Someone clears their throat. Wait, hang on. What voyeuristic idiot is spying on me, my impromptu naked picnic? <laughs> Do you make it a habit? of eating naked, or is it just because you want to feel more at one with nature? <laughs> the voice is feminine, unfamiliar, musical, and slightly accented. It comes from my left, and I whip my head in that direction. Do you make it a habit of sneaking up on people when they're eating naked? <laughs> I respond around my mouth full of donut. Hopefully exuding nonchalance, I am 100% not feeling. The girl laughs and it echoes through the trees. It's a joyful explosion of sound that makes me want to join in and which melts some of my indignation. Somehow, I get the feeling the girl didn't intend to spy on me after all. I can't put my finger on it exactly, but instinct tells me she's a friend. I did say hello, the girl explains, moving closer to me. You were just too busy swimming and now eating. I was going to continue riding, but then I saw your food and decided to stay and ask if you minded company. Though I'd banked on spending the day alone, I surprised myself by saying, not at all. I gesture at myself expansively with a grin. I can put on my tunic if your sensibilities are offended by the intimate look you're getting at my royal person. <laughs> on the contrary, I may join you. A smile, a smile lingers in the girl's voice and my respect for her grows. <laughs> Along along with an unwanted heat that starts in my chest and somehow sneak, snakes its way to my cheeks. I'd offer you a donut, I babble, with my mouth full again, trying to deflect attention from my blush. So obvious, Azarine. But they're minuscule and I only have one left. Mother says I should be generous to strangers, but I'm hungry. Plus, I think we can dispense with niceties at this point, don't you? <laughs> I would say that's fair. The girl is standing beside me now. The scent of wildflowers envelops me. Is it coming from her? I take a deep, almost involuntary breath. She leans over and sets something down in front of me. 
Yes, the floral aroma is most, def most certainly coming from her. I reach out reflexively and feel the weave of a picnic basket. I lift it in both hands, and it's got a satisfying heft to it. Definitely more food. So, <laughs> something meta metallic rattles around inside. I wanted, to get, I wanted to get away too, the girl continues. And don't worry, I've got food. Enough for two if you're still hungry. I think you've just become my new best friend. I grin, setting the basket back down and, and wiping the dusting of cinnamon and sugar from my face. I'm starving. Also, because you're clearly willing to share when I wasn't, I guess you've earned that last donut after all. I proffer the battered pastry, reaching up to meet her hand. Our fingers brush for an instant, and a tingle shoots through me. Suddenly, I'm pretty aware of my nudity. <laughs> Get a grip, I chide myself impatiently. It's not as if you have anything she hasn't seen before. <laughs> Amelia, 